Hey budgies and widgies and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to go ahead and show off two absolutely crazy fish I ended up getting for my five foot aquarium. Now I generally tend to wait about four to five weeks before I show off any new fish. However, considering just how crazy these two new fish are and the fact that I'm incredibly excited, I just wanted to go ahead and show you Tilly, my brand new Saratoga Giardini and Pancake, my hybrid freshwater stingray. But before we get into this video, as always, let's quickly acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land and the people that are managing our land as well. Now, considering how excited I am and if you share that as well, It'd be really awesome if you could just give this video a thumbs up. You have the ability to subscribe to the channel as well, but I'll let you make that decision after you've watched this video. But I say enough talking and it's time we have a look at these two absolutely hectic monster fish. Alright, who are we going to talk about first? Tilly or Pancake? We'll talk about Tilly. Tilly is the Giardini Saratoga that's swimming around in my five foot aquarium. I got it from my local aquarium store, Aquatico Aquarium. I say they're local, but they're about 40 minutes away. And it had been roughly around a month since I visited them last. So last weekend, I had the opportunity just to go down that way. And I ended up walking into the shop. And well, let me just throw you back to what actually ended up happening. All right, bodgies and widgies. So I just came to Aquatico Aquarium, no particular reason, didn't really want anything. And I was just having a look around as I normally do and I came across this tank and it has one of my absolute dream fish at the perfect size and that is a oh no focus that is a Giardini Saratoga and that fish is just the perfect size to put into the five foot aquarium and then to grow out for the new fish room I'm gonna see how much he is and then um, we'll see if we uh, we'll see if we get him <laughs> I have to stop doing this yeah, I decided I'm gonna go ahead and get him. You've got this, Simon. I have faith. <laughs> oh, that was good. Lucky. Yeah. <laughs> he caught it first try. <laughs> that was what? so what quick. <laughs> what? <laughs> It's almost like the stars had aligned for me to go ahead and get Tilly. Now, the Giardini Saratoga is one of two Saratoga species in Australia, the other one being a Lycardi. A Lycardi is a fish that you might have seen on Blake's Aquatics, his channel, where he used to have pretty much a three year old big full grown Lycardi Saratoga. However, the Giardini is the other species that we have available. I really love the Giardini just because of how similar it is to Sclerapagus formis or the coveted Asian arowana. Unfortunately, we can't get Asian arowana in Australia because they are a protected species and it's actually illegal to go ahead and import them into the country. But Australia so gracefully provided the beautiful Giardini. And the Giardini just has these beautiful sort of pearl-like patternings all across the body, which are red with this uh, olive green or gold body color. And I think that these fish just look absolutely stunning. As a kid, I have always wanted an Asian arowana and the Giardini was the absolute perfect alternative. But considering how rare it is to go ahead and find a Giardini, and also find one at a size that's suitable for my five foot aquarium, it seemed like a task that was almost impossible. But Aquatic Old Aquarium came in clutch and they had this beautiful fish. And I knew the moment that I saw her that I'd walk out of the store with her. And that's exactly what I did. Now, I generally don't name all of the aquarium fish that I end up getting just because I have so many. But for the pet type fish, I get you bodgies and witties to come up with names in the comment section down below of my videos. However, in the event of Tilly, I basically came up with that name the night that she was added into my five foot aquarium. And the name is actually in reference to the Matildas, Australia's women's soccer team. They've done such an amazing job in the women's FIFA World Cup and the fact that they were able to just captivate and inspire so many people to watch the game. I believe the last game they played, 11.5 million people in Australia were watching all around the country and I thought in dedication to them, Matilda or Tilly would just be the perfect name for this absolutely stunning gold fish. For those of you that don't really have too much exposure in the monster fish world, a lot of these big fish when first introduced into a new environment can be especially skittish. Though they might look all boisterous and personable when introduced into a new tank, they can really freak out. A lot of times smashing into the side of the aquarium or just jumping out of the tank altogether. And for Tilly, I wanted to go ahead and minimize that risk as much as possible. So the lighting has actually stayed off in the tank for pretty much most of the week and I've slowly been bringing up the intensity of light. 
I do this with pretty much any fish that I add into the tank, but with Tilly, it really does make a difference so she doesn't freak out whenever I walk past the aquarium. Along with that, I did take out all the hardscape material and I just left the terracotta pots and that big open sand bed. The terracotta pots are just in there for the fish that do like to hide, like my Australian lungfish, the clown loaches and catfish species that I have. The sand bed is just nice and open, it's not that abrasive, so if she did scrape up against it, she's not going to do much damage to herself. And I might reintegrate some hardscape material like some driftwood or some smooth river rock down the line, but I'll only do that once I really feel that comfortable that Tilly has settled into her tank. The other thing is that these monster fish can generally stop eating for a few weeks as well, but with Tilly I haven't had that problem. At the moment she is eating white fleshed meat quite regularly and that's just with bassophilid and some other fish meat that I've been offering her. I do want to get her onto some other things like some prawns and mussels, I just don't have them at the moment to feed but I will make a trip down to my local seafood monger and pick some up this weekend as well. However, I do want to get her on pallets, that's a long term goal, but I'll start weaning her onto pallets and I'll integrate it into her food as we continue going on. But for the moment, it's been pretty much smooth sailing keeping the Saratoga, just learning her behaviour, getting her used to my presence, not freaking out, and getting her feeding onto pallets, which is the final goal. Now, before we have a closer look at Pancake, let me quickly talk to you about the backstory as to how I got this fish. Now, the morning that I was at Aquatico Aquarium looking at Tilly to go ahead and buy her, I received a message from Sam Parker, Parker's Reefs, and I thought, oh boy, here's trouble. No, I'm just kidding. Sam, you're an awesome person, and if you're watching this video, huge congratulations for hitting 25,000 subscribers on YouTube. That is absolutely hectic, and thank you for everything that you do for the Australian Aquarium hobby. You're a massive inspiration to me. But Sam reached out to me and uh, asked if I would be willing to go ahead and adopt a freshwater stingray, because Daniel, the person that previously owned this fish was looking to move it on so he could change up some things in his aquarium but he wanted to make sure that this fish would go to a good home that he could see it and he wanted to make sure that someone would be able to take care of it properly there are a few other people that were interested in getting it but they weren't the right people to go out and house a fish like a freshwater stingray and I just happened to be the perfect solution as I always am I'm just kidding um, I just had the aquarium space to go ahead and house this fish I'm incredibly passionate about freshwater stingrays. I actually do have some Latoras in my four foot shallow tank. However, this guy, Pancake, is actually a hybrid freshwater stingray. I believe he's a mix between a Motoro and a Leopoldi. I'm not entirely sure. There might be some Mantilla in there, a couple of other stingray genetics, but I don't really care. As much as I love purebred freshwater stingrays, the personality, the coloration, and the behavior this fish has is just everything and more than you'd want in a freshwater ray. And I love it. He's such a huge size and the fact that I was able to adopt this fish and take him in and provide him as best of a home that I possibly could, I'm incredibly happy with that. Pancake is also eating like a champ, he's doing super well, he's constantly active, he's also joined Neo in pushing the sand bed across in my aquarium, but you know what, that's a war that I'm never going to win, especially now that it's two against one. But botches and wedgies, that is pretty much it. That's the update of Tilly and Pancake, the new fish that have been added into the tank. Now, throughout this video, you might have seen a very inquisitive orange blob swimming around in my fish tank as well. I will talk to you about that monstrosity in a future video. But thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay happy, stay safe, stay Australian. Bodgy, out.